in this video. And I, I eat outside, it's easier. Life is made in miniature and a forest park up reveals a hidden world. Oh, wow. I can't imagine how much fun that must have been for the kids. Welcome to the channel. That's Harry, our camper van, and that's me, Jane, and here's Stu. And we love to share with you our van life adventures. We left you in the last episode travelling back to the coast of northern France and arriving at the historic saint valery sous -Somme. So we just parked up at... Um... Well, saint valery Saint Valery sur Somme, so it's on the on the Somme Canal. Or yeah, river, apparently river. it's got an upper city, a lower city, and a abbey area. There's three okay. main areas, but looking at it, I don't know that we. It's immediately obvious. So yeah. that we just parked up. It's uh, it was six euros, for about three and a half hours, I think it was. Which is more than the four we want. So. And it's apparently it's very much a tourist destination. It's got a steam railway. I don't know if we'll get to see that. Which is here, I think. Right next to us. Oh, there you go. <laughs> didn't even see <laughs> that. Too busy reading about it. I didn't even I'm, see I'm it. I'm guessing that's it. That's yeah. So like. they every year they have a festival, like a steam railway festival. This is where William the Conqueror left to conquer England. Ah, battle. What um, that it's twinned with yep. in. Sussex, is it Sussex? Yeah. Yeah, um, in Sussex. Is where the Battle of Hastings, where William the Conqueror defeated Harold. Mm -hmm. So he set off from here, hence that's the association. Yep. And they have a, uh, a festival where they reenact, they all dress up and. So we're going to have some lunch and then we're going to explore. We're going to go for a walk. What time is it? It's late, having it's lunch. It's two o'clock, so let's go. It's going into Hangry Hour. That's what that's doing. There's only one person who suffers in hungry, yeah. And it's great. He's not you. So I suffer from something called, I think it's called misophobia. Basically means you can't abide noisy eating. So, so much to the point, I can't even hear, listen to myself eat an apple. I have to chop it up. So I, I can't hear that crunch. I just can't eat it like that. So Stu's taken an apple, bless him, on our walk, so I can't hear him eat it. <laughs> well, Stu was spot on, and we parked right next to the track. I love, even at his age, he gets excited when the train comes. As always, better safe than sorry. So as if by magic, Jane mentioned a steam railway and one appeared. So it's about a 30 minute walk to saint valery sur somme um, I look around the historic part. Got about an hour and a half, I guess, round trip. I, think, I thought it was gonna rain, now the sun's come out. Maybe not. There's a couple of old properties. So Jane suffers from misophonia, which is noisy eating basically. And I, I eat outside, it's easier. I love all these shuttered old chalet type houses. And while it looks lovely and sunny over there, it actually looks very dark over there. If you're enjoying this series, drop us a comment and hit that like and subscribe button. It's free and it really helps us out. This one looks to be at the budget end of boating. We just caught a glimpse of something in the water and we aren't sure if it was a seal or an otter. Oh, Jade's waving. Oh. So you're waving in the wrong language. Mm. 
So apparently sea worm catching was a big activity, which was used as bait for fishing at the beginning of the 20th century. There's now about six million kids going past us. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. They must be. They must have a cellar, probably. They're about six. Six floors. Wow, some pretty properties here. Some interesting artwork along the shore. These art images are by Jeanne K. Simmons and invoked some discussion. She's got a thing about uh, marshes, woods and the coastline. But she had fun doing that. It's called Grass Cocoon 2. That one's quite good. Extensions. Don't know about that one. It's, uh, Make your own mind up. And still they continue. So what do you think of them? As you can see, the beach at the far end is deserted today. But we suspect in season it gets busy with various activities. Now this is apparently the last remains of a tower where it is said that King Harold was held prisoner in the 11th century. we slowly make our way up to the top level of the town. So that's the Joan of Arc gate. She was imprisoned in 1431 by the English here and then she was moved to Rouen where she was then burnt by the stake. miniature thing. Under the arch we find this fantastic shop where a skilled craftsman sits and makes miniature old tool scenes. Bonjour. Bonjour monsieur. Wow look at this. Bonjour. Bonjour. Okay. Making, making little scenes. And what a wonderful skill to be able to follow a passion. That's the gendarme, old gendarme place, I guess. That was a really nice place. It was, you know, we hadn't got a clue when we just picked it out on the map. As we said, we just went here and parked right at the far end. But that was quite good because it made, it made us walk. You can tell it's obviously a very tourist town. Yeah. Because uh, it's still quite busy with tourists, even though everywhere's been. This is probably the busiest place we've been. We've been to, yeah. It's, um, it's obviously out of season, but it was, as you said, there was there's still people going on boat trips. And, yeah, um, they definitely looked like, like there was coach trips and there was a lot of kids like they'd come here on the coach as well. Yeah. This would be the same line that you saw that train or whatever, maybe. Left or right? Uh, I was going to choose left. Got a bit slower. We saw. So tonight we're going to target park up not too far away from where uh, Saint Valerie. Uh, 
forest area, so hopefully that will work out. If not, we'll find something else. Is it on Park for Not? This is a Park for Not, yeah. Most of them are, to be honest. I'm in the main just using Park for Not. Is this one of the reasons we came back to France, really? Is it's just so easy? Yeah, yeah, if, if this one doesn't work out, we'll find it. Take the second exit now. We'll find another one. Yeah. It's as simple as that, isn't it? Yeah. There's no stress about it, we'll just find another one. We've just turned back, because as we were entering, we saw some signage. We don't actually know where it means, so... So after a quick Google Translate, we think that we're all right to stay in the area, so we continue on. Nice little park up, quiet in the forest. Probably space for three or four vans if they came. Just starting to rain now. Lots of walks in the woods in this area, picnic tables. It's where Harry's colours blend in to the background. It's got its advantages and disadvantages. There's my plants, it's grown quite well. They're still alive. So we're having a crumbled feta salad which has got lemon juice, lemon rind, the usual, peppers, tomatoes and lettuce. I've made a topping to go on the pork loin chops we got, those small ones, which has got what a, uh, if I was following a Hello Fresh one it would have a relish thing, you know, um, a marmalade relish. Oh okay. So that's marmalade cool. but it's got um, bit of balsamic glaze in and salt, pepper and onion. Very good. And that'll go on there with a sprinkle of parmesan just to melt over so it gets a crustacean. The only good news about the size of these chops is that they were one euro 27. Foraging mushrooms for the morning or truffles. Well, it looks like it's a family affair in the area. We had a couple of vans that stayed the night with us. Stu's told me to come over here and have a look, but not, but to bring my camera, but he won't tell me what it is. He's like, oh, take, go over there, go and have a look, take your camera. Is it me? He's going to go, how the hell did you miss that? He made it sound like he'd found something on the floor or something. I thought maybe they'd left mushrooms. <laughs> Sit, 
sit for. <laughs> what a great little place. That's like Go Ape. <laughs> the French version of Go Ape. See, they've tied the swings up to uh, quite rightly. Oh dear. Oh look, that actually looks like I picked that up and put it in the bin, but unfortunately it looks like a, an animal's got that. Oh, you're joking. Look at that. That looks that's such good fun. Oh, I bet the kids love it here. Oh, look. Go up there and go round here. Oh, my God. Obviously, play games up there. Wow, what a great place. Oh, this is the best. This is the best one. <laughs> How much fun would that be? It's a massive place. It goes on far more than you can see. I can't imagine how much fun that must have been for the kids. Be good for us, never mind the kids. I don't know how I missed that. I read the board yesterday. It's probably on the board. Amazing, isn't it? Great place. Yeah. Oh, you can't get up to them because they've obviously... How the hell I missed that yesterday? I have no idea. I went to read that board. I think... You've got to go in there. It's because well, the light changes yeah. when you get in there. You, when your eyes change. Well, it's time for us to go and start to explore more of this region. And we'll share this with you in the next episode.